Shielding is caused by the different chemical environments experienced by the protons. Take a look at these two organic compounds. In ethane, each hydrogen is attached to one other carbon and three other hydrogen atoms. So the electron shielding between all six hydrogens would be equivalent, right? They are said to be chemically equivalent. That is, they all have the same chemical environment. So if methane is passed through a H1 NMR, a spectrum would be produced showing only one peak because of that single chemical environment. But that environment occurred four times, so it would be high. The one we tend to focus on, however, is the carbon NMR. So thinking about electron shielding around the different carbon atoms, they're both the same. So you'd expect one large peak. In fact, your data sheet shows it to be around 5 to 40 parts per million on a C NMR. Here's another one. In propane, you can see that these hydrogens and these hydrogens all have the same chemical environment. They are chemically equivalent. These hydrogens, however, are bonded to a carbon that is bonded to two other carbons, so their chemical environment is different. So there are two hydrogen environments in this compound, and on a spectrum, it should show two peaks. This peak is larger because there's a total of six hydrogen environments compared to two. And once again, if we look at the carbon chemical environments, we can see that there are two different types. So you should expect two peaks. Now you're probably wondering why the HNMR spectrum has multiple peaks around the main ones. Well, we'll have to address that in class since this video is getting too long. But we do have time for one more. One propanol shows a hydrogen chemical environment here, 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 and here. The reason why this is different from this is because the oxygen will draw some of their electron density. These hydrogens are further away, so they should be in a different chemical environment. So each of these different chemical environments should all show a different signal on our HNMR spectrum. The peak reflects the abundance of that environment. Looking at the different carbon environments, you can see that there are three different types due to their electron densities. Hence, you should see three peaks. In fact, the peak at about 64 ppm corresponds to this value in your data sheet. So you know it represents the carbon next to the hydroxyl group. Simples. So the primary goal is to learn how to interpret these spectrums. Learning how to identify the different chemical environments of organic compounds is the trick.